Welcome, everyone. Uh, I am here with Robert Kirkman, creator of Invincible, uh, to talk about season two. And uh, we are very excited to have him with us. Uh, Robert, welcome. Glad to be here, man. Thanks for having me. Oh, great. Um, so we'll start off. Uh, Invincible has a passionate and dedicated fan base. Uh, what about the series do you think resonates so strongly with viewers and readers alike? Uh, I mean, I think that there's a passionate fan base for superhero stories in general. And I think that Invincible, because it takes everything that myself and co-creator Corey Walker and, and Ryan Otley, like we loved about superheroes and it puts it into one series. It's kind of a catch-all uh, for, you know, superhero fans that, that have loved this genre for years and years. It also, I feel, is kind of... Uh, uh, in my opinion, it's like a natural progression. If you've been, you know, reading DC comics, if you've been reading Marvel comics for decades and decades, you know, here's a storyline that has that same feel, but things inside of it happen that could never happen in the Marvel or DC comics. There are a lot is different in the series versus the comic book. How important to you was it that the series not be a direct one-to-one -one adaptation? Well, I don't want anything to ever be boring for comic book fans that have, you know, been reading this book for years and years. Um, there's a charge that comes from experiencing the comic for the first time. And I want to try and maintain that to a certain extent, even for people who have read the comics. Uh, that said, uh, you know, there are big moments that people uh, have been expecting from the comics or, or you know, really want to see adapted into animation. And we're trying to make sure that in the animated series, we're maintaining all those moments and, and keeping all the big stuff intact as we translate, uh, you know, things from comics to animation. Uh, did you have any concerns when you were uh, adapting the show um, at the the amount of violence in the comic book versus animation or did uh, Walking Dead sort of open up the doors to that? I think my only concern was uh, how to enhance it and make it worse. <laughs> Oh, uh, I was very excited about the addition of motion and sound and 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 what that would allow us to accomplish. And so, um, yeah, really, like one of the most fun aspects of doing the show is sitting down and going, okay, we were able to do this in comics. This is how Ryan Otley drew this gore. This is how Corey set up this scene. Um, you know, how can we make it grosser, more impactful, more shocking in the animated series? So what can we expect going forward? Is, is there going to be a lot more deviation from the existing storylines or is it going to be, um, are we, what are we going to see in season two if you can give us any hints? Yeah, I think starting with season two, you're going to see less rearranging. I think season one, we had to reorder a bunch of sequences to push that Omni-Man reveal to the end of the first season. Um, and season two and beyond, uh, we've kind of caught up to the show in, in, a, in a way that uh, uh, the storylines don't need to be like moved out of order. Um, so I think now it's just a matter of, you know, we'll be dropping some scenes, um, but uh, uh, we'll be adding different things and enhancing a lot of scenes. And so things will be different. But for the most part, I think that the the overall through line will mirror a little bit closer to what's going on in the comics, even though a lot of the stuff that we do is completely different. A lot of different characters will have expanded scenes and expanded storylines and some characters storylines. will well, not really. There's not like a lot of uh, we're not like leaving a lot of stuff on the cutting room floor. Like like everything that you expect to be there will be there, but there's just more added on top of that. Will we see any more character specials like we did for Adam Eve in the future? I mean, that's something that we'd love to do. I think that it it was great to be able to shine that spotlight on Adam Eve. It's just a matter of scheduling and, and things like that. Trying to fit extra episodes into what we're doing is somewhat difficult. But if we're able to figure that out, it's something that we'd like to do more of in the future. A big one here. Will we ever return to the world of Invincible in the comics? Uh, I mean, I don't know. We'll just have to see. Um, I know we're, we're doing new edition trade paperbacks that have these cool covers by Corey. Uh, and so we're definitely going to be doing, uh, you know, new things with the old material uh, as we, you know, progress, uh, you know, season to season. Uh, but as far as new stories, uh, I don't know. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll just have to see. There's no no plans as of yet. What do you think of the uh, Diamond Select Toys Invincible toy line so far? I think it's cool. My only problem with the Diamond Select Toys line is that we haven't done more. <laughs> um, I think that the articulation is great. I love the size of the figures. I think that uh, the way that we're able to keep them on model uh, with the cartoon series, but, you know, have the articulation uh, uh, to the level that it's at is is pretty cool. I think that uh, all around, they're really great action figures. Great. Thank you. We just showed off um, Rexplode and uh, the Mauler twin at the Toy Fair, and uh, we got a great response to them. Are there any characters from the animation you're dying to see in toy form? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm dying to see some Battle Beast. I'd love to see some Angstrom Levy, uh, you know, Thetis. Um, you know, there's 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 all kinds of stuff that I'd love to see. 
great. Thank you so much. It's been great having you on, and uh, I look forward to season two. Cool, man. I look forward to more toys. Sounds awesome. Thanks for watching. Now be sure to enter a comment below uh, naming what character you would like to see next in the Invincible Action Figure line, and you will be entered to win a complete set of Invincible Action Figures from Diamond Select Toys. Good luck. <laughs>